You're listening to Artie Jude, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Schlich and today we dive into the exciting ocean of the creative mind um, with Matthew Robb. Matthew is a singer, songwriter, poet, uh, a traveler around the world and uh, is living in Germany, Cologne, uh, in the Indiana Siedlung, which is a little place um, surrounded by well, other little, little, yeah, yeah, trailers and, and houses and Schrebergärten, we say in Germany. Um, and in the first part, we spoke a little bit about Matthew's past and uh, how he grow up um, on the countryside, no, gosh, not on the countryside, and, and close to Manchester um, and as well. Uh, he he traveled a lot, and after that, through the countryside, Greek, um, eventually uh, Middle America, uh, America landed then in the countryside in the forest. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Detlef. Great to have you here in the second part as well. Thanks for and having thank me you, back. Yeah, thank thank you to have you in the show. So it is uh, we finished our last part um, in America in the forest. Uh, you yeah. used to live in the forest. So how long did you live in the forest? It was his actually still his girlfriend or his wife. Um, they they both traveled together. So you still used to be together in the forest. Yes, yes, we stood. Um, we worked there until we got some money in America and then for two months lived in the White River Forest in Colorado. And then we bought a car and then just traveled around America with the so money we'd earned. Where did you live in the forest? I mean, was there a tent or did you, did you, what can I imagine? Yeah, we, that? Did, we, we did have a tent, but we just lived next to a river, you know, like one of these white Russian rivers. And so that was, was the problem. It was a well, a few kilometers up a track near, you know, in the mountains. So we'd have like about five kilometers every morning to walk to work. I worked on the interstate highway, but making a bridge with some local company. Yeah. And then, then we'd go back and sleep in the forest. And Astrid was working uh, gardening, making all the rich people's gardens. <laughs> and you guys, you saved the money for two months just for get, getting a car together. Yeah, and we got a big old Chevy and we drove around, yeah. So what was it? I mean, uh, what, what, what was it the vision of you both to, to, uh, to explore life and, and, and the world? I mean, in, in an age of how old have you been there? Or oh, 25, 20? Yes, about six. that. 25 26 27 over that period yeah 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 still still the vision still the vision to see a lot of the world before you go back to settle down a little bit or what was it yeah i guess i guess also i'd been before that i was at edinburgh university and i'd met astrid and I guess it was a way of keeping Astrid all to myself. Uh, I thought <laughs> I'd take a one-way ticket to Santiago, Chile on, a, on an uh, airplane and then travel with her. Um, all right. And, uh, it, it's one way to keep your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a song well, out of it? I'm not sure. But not, I, not yet. I, I, it was just when the student loans had come in in England 
the, when they stop the grants, the student loans, and they give me a student loan to study uh, my next year at university, and Did which I was use? doing. I used it to get flights to South America. <laughs> so, so you used. Well, to I, I was, I was studying uh, third world and de developmental studies. Okay, so but I, that, that fits in it, doesn't it? Well, exactly. So I thought I'd fly out there and see it for myself, and uh, so we went. Yeah. So, so you studied, but so did could you finish your study? No, I, I left them and went <laughs> traveling. All right. So, so, you, so you took a different approach. So, so you did misunderstood it. You just, you just did it live. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Did you did you regret it? I mean, probably not. Regret not finishing my studies? Yeah. No, I, it was great to. Um, I guess like a big journey like this is yeah. quite a life changing experience. I would say, yeah. Because if you're living in nature in the mountains, yeah. Um, for months on end and over years you know yeah i think it, it, it's somewhat not fully conscious thing you 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 feel but something happens to you you know absolutely absolutely i agree totally with you i mean like i say as i was in middle america it was very dangerous and uh, i was sometimes asking myself why are you gonna do that you know the, and the only thing what I could tell myself then after that was, okay, so if you get through this year, nothing can happen in life to you anymore, you know. So and I think, I think uh, traveling around the world like this really, so adjust some screws in your head, isn't it? Can do, yeah, if you're in the nature a lot, you know. If you, yeah. if you just get on a plane, to get on a boat, to get on a bus, to get in a car, to get on a motorbike, you know, to stay at a hotel. It's different. I guess it's different. But if you're just living off your wits um, and you're living, you know, in the mountains, by the rivers, it's, um, it can be a wonderful experience, you know. Sure. Sure. I mean. So it like rewires, it rewires. It's, it it's connects like an, you. Uh, an in initiation from childhood to uh, growing up a little bit for me it was. It con connects you as, as well to 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 your ancestors, isn't it? I mean, I mean, we all come from 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 the hunter gatherers, and uh, I think if you deal, I mean, it's here the same. You know, if you're surrounded by nature, you you really get connected to the sensitivity of of this kind of nature you know mm. and, and you really start to 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 explore things different you know i mean all ancient cultures like shamanism and 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 i mean you, it's very difficult to to explore things like this in a city or in a town where where you where where it's already everything uh sonically polluted for instance as well you know yeah. i mean and and i mean this this experience getting up in the nature without any sound i mean with just the sound of 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 nature birds and any and other animals is unbelievable that's true i mean even here i mean i'm quite i'm living quite remote over here as well but then if 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 the lawnmower starts or or i i hear the tractor a mile apart i'm already getting annoyed you know so that's you're I mean, too I, spoiled. I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can't complain, honestly. You know, but but <coughs> no. but, uh, but that is maybe a couple of days in a year. You know, when when the farmer has to do his job. You know, yeah. so so, uh, <laughs> so. Well, <what>? you know. <laughs> yeah. So I tell myself, Detlef, come on, calm down. You know, it's it's just it's just it's just now for 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 a day or so and. Uh, don't worry, you know. Well, yeah, you've got to eat, haven't you? You know, if you eat, they've got to farm the land, you know. 
Yeah, and that's that's what 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 I start to realize. And again, I said, Dad, "Come on, you can't complain." I mean, those guys, they, they that that are the people who, who eventually. I mean, now apart from from, is is it good to to overproduce meat and all that? But eventually, all these farmers, they 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 gonna do the job that that people in the city get to eat. Not in, not just in the city. I mean, we as well get to eat, isn't it? Mm. You know? I mean. That's for me always always a, a thing what I what I somehow realize you know uh, how 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 mad life is somehow you know so that 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 we completely uh, lose the track to to uh, to look for our food no yeah exactly yeah um, if it doesn't come in a plastic bag we distrust it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i think uh, i would imagine that most people well i can't say most people but i've witnessed where they prefer it coming in a plastic bag than picking it from a tree i mean i wonder how things will change in in 20 30 40 years or that's more 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 a, a thing for the future we can speak actually about that in the next part if you want uh in, in the third part we are still now somehow i wonder i wonder i, I will think about it some with with we're there so, okay so you, so you used to work in america a couple of months how how was it for you working in america as an english fellow um it was great um was great a lot of crazy people yeah uh the viet they were half of them were vietnam vets and they honestly were all, yeah and we were working on the highway um on the interstate outside it was summer yeah. um was great i loved it yeah until after a couple of months the i think it's the ins the immigration yeah they they busted the place and so like me and a lot of mexicans run into the mountains ah, i was wondering so so you didn't have a green card or what no all right so you run into the mountains and did they catch you no but they caught um the mexicans and a few they they they, they caught quite a lot of people 60 people in the whole valley did they? And and their procedure, they send you back to your last port of call. So wherever you were last, that's yeah. where they send you back. Yeah. So people, you know, they they return you. Some people were taken back to New Zealand. So I, I don't know how it works, but I didn't get caught. But I, they they let me off the job. So we bought a car and then we travelled with the money we'd um, still in America. You, yeah, you, just travelled around America for six months. All right. And this old old Chevrolet car. And um Yeah, then flew back to Europe. So you sold the car in America for sure? No, I, I give it away. I I um I we were we had a it was the Kuwait war when America were fighting, you know, bombing Kuwait. Yeah. Uh, and so we got a flight on the Kuwait Airlines because they All were right. cheap from JFK yeah. Airport. Yeah. And I, I was driving over, I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge, and I had no money. Yeah. And the, and we the car didn't have any number plates. Yeah. So we dri we'd driven from the West Coast with no number plates, like 5,000 kilometers or something, 3,000. Right. And uh, we had to pull in at the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah um because we couldn't pay the, the the toll fee yeah we had no money left yeah. and uh the policeman uh that was there he said what which is your car i showed him and he said there's no number plates on that yeah i said i know i'm taking it to the scrapyard i've got my flight from new york to london you'll never see me again he just said get out of my sight so we took the car to jfk airport yeah but there was 
there was an Afro-Caribbean, Afro-American guy in the yeah. airport just yeah. walking. I said to him, would you like to have a car? Yeah. He said, what, you crazy? I said, no, if you <laughs> give me a couple of dollars for a coffee, yeah. you can have this car. And it was yeah. a big Chevrolet Caprice. Yeah. You know, a really big boat. And this fellow, he, and he, he thought you. He said, you crazy? Yeah. And I said, no. So he gave me two dollars. I gave him the keys. Yeah. He jumped in the car. He looked out the window. He said, you're fucking crazy, man. And he drove off. <coughs> and so we jumped yes, on yes, the... Yes, 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 yes. This is an attitude story. I had, I had to brought that in now. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and then... <laughs> and then he drove off in the car. We jumped on the airplane and we flew into London. All right. Okay. Yeah, so, so he was probably a happy guy after that, wasn't it? Could be, yeah. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, it's the old car. So, so you drove back to London, and then, then that that was with 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 your with your with your world traveling. Yes. So, how many yeah. years have you been on the road then? Oh, ever since I left school, I guess, on and off. But you know, T ten years in, in total. Yeah. Then. Yeah. yeah so so you came back to london then then when was it in in, in 80s late 80s or what was astrid yeah no no it was the late 90s i'm not that old that left yeah sure you're younger than me actually yeah that so so 30 years ago 25 years ago you came you came back to well 20 it was um you know it was the, the late 90s in the late 90s i oh, came yeah. back and I, yeah. I came to germany then with astrid we moved after to after that so so yeah. you didn't you didn't want to stay in england anymore well no, but she wanted to finish her studies in oh, germany yeah. oh, so we, we came to germany so you came to germany then and uh you found this place where where you're now or Yes, after a couple of years, pretty soon actually, yeah, I met some uh, artist friends, musicians, and they introduced me to this place. Yeah. And managed to get me a, a garden here. Yeah. All right. And so then, yeah, pretty soon. I mean, I think it's it's quite nice. I mean, that it's um, for the listeners. Uh, Indiana Siedlung, it's it's a lovely place in Cologne, you know. So so it is. Uh, it's quite huge now, isn't it? I mean, I, I was there once, and it's there. There is as well. There 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 is a what 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 is it's surrounded by by a graveyard as well, no? Yes, yeah, big graveyard, yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think for 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 a town like cologne you found quite reasonable place to live there isn't it i mean you can be creative yeah it's cool it's a good place in in the city you yeah. know yeah. and then you start you start you start building your 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 shed yeah well a glorified shed it's a bit better than a shed <laughs> it was a shed when we started i wasn't already there uh, there was actually a little bit here, yes, when we moved. Yeah. Uh, there was one structure. Okay. But as the ki as the kids started coming, we we started adding on little bits. And yeah, so we added, and now it's uh, like what you might call a house. All right. So 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 you have kids as well now. Yes, yeah, three three boys. After after the journey. Yes. All right. How old are they now? Uh, 22, 19 and 16. They all, all or do they still still some still live there or not? But maybe the 16 years old, no? Yeah, still the younger one, yeah. The, the young He's... one and the rest the rest is and they're flying away. Yeah. I mean, you probably had a good time there, don't you? So Yeah, they love it, yeah. It's a nice so, place. That sounds, uh, did you did you build anything on your own? Yes, quite yeah. 
mostly with friends, but um, we also built one of the places with uh, uh, just me and the kids. Yeah. Together. Yeah. That yeah. sounds that sounds good. So that's actually nice. So so you you both you you guys, dear listeners, you can you can listen to that in the, in the first part. So they both they traveled quite a long time during during the world and uh, and they're still together and uh, and live now there in Cologne, which is actually a nice thing. So I mean you you don't you don't hear stories like this so often. You know, mostly people are already split it and, and uh living apart or so on and uh you're still there, that's nice. So you you said Astrid she she finished her studying. What what did she finish then after that? Uh she studied uh, music pedagogic and speech therapy. All right. Okay. Oh, so music all right. So so and you you started then as you came back uh um You probably developed your 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 guitar playing as well in on your journey, didn't you? Did you have your guitar on your journey as well? Yes, uh, we had always had a guitar with, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I started playing like picking the blues when I was in America. Yeah, yeah, it was a good place to start, you know. Oh, all right, like going to the blues out there. Yeah, and. Um, so yeah, I just and I was writing poetry, uh, and so I was doing both together. I was, you know, I in, always in in, it. in America. Yeah, well, always writing things. Yeah, you know, yeah. and um, and playing, you know, guitar, blues, instrumentals. So yeah, I started doing that, and okay. when I came to Germany, I just continued, you know. Yeah. When when did you when did you decide to uh, to um, or when did you write your first song actually it's where you said okay this is now a song which is my song when did that start I guess in my twenties already I wrote my first song yeah so you were able then then to play these songs already to people in America and and and, and on a journey too yeah I was always playing like yeah. Um, on my travels. Yeah, so so I was just wondering, so because it's actually the best time to to, to improve things like this. Yeah, and then and when did you, when did you decide to to record your first first CD? Because I couldn't find any, any. Uh, what was what was your first? Spirit in the fog or Dead Men Have No Dreams? Spirit in the form. So. I think yeah. So this is this that, is that was released in 2017. That was 2017 already. Mm. Nice. And you can see here. So inside are all the lyrics as well for for, for Matthew. And uh, is it is it a collection with songs from 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 the journey as well? Uh, well, I've just been writing songs, uh, you know, living here and, and living with my children and writing songs at the same time. So when I got the opportunity to go into the studio, I just started putting, the, you know, particular songs together. And um, that's what came out of that studio session. It was recorded in two days. Okay. All right. Um, so, so, so recorded live okay in the, in the studio yes in in, in like a, a makeshift studio yeah like okay um i would say it's almost at the end already on the second part i mean time flies so, so which song shall we play now i miss you babe the first song of the new album um okay i miss you babe so i miss you babe that's the first song on your new album and you can listen to it now thank you very much matthew you're welcome thank you i miss you babe 
about as much as I can take When you left this morning I felt my heart was gonna break I miss you long high I miss you east and west Lord knows I miss your thigh God knows I miss your breast I'm sitting at my window I'm lonely near and far Chasing down your memory like you're my only wandering star And when a bit of wind knives in And I got no place to go Miss the smell of your skin And the creak of your cabin door I miss you, babe I miss your rare and beautiful face How you dare to bring boundless joy To all that you embrace I miss your gay abandon Where much is left to chance The way you tend to find a good in things all at once Cause you're coming to nothing And your deeds they all but brave Miss the way you always seem to recognize Unlucky days When I'm down at the crossroads And I'm tramping north and south I miss every sweet Tender breath that tumbles from your mouth I miss you, babe You're the only thing I crave Just as long as I'm on this round wall Until I'm in my grave I miss your delicate prayer Playing holy on reprise Miss gazing at your look of star That's forever on the rise And every lonely hour Your song is always sung With garlands and flowers Your neck is brightly hung And if you make a stance When you're marking up the score Miss how you learned to dance Before you went to war For your gratitude comes for free Never ask for no applause Your heart it skips a beat And gives beauty an open door Miss the way you gain goodwill When everything's at stake How you aim to give honor To one and all For its own sake When the winds of change blow free Low cloud hanging over town Mercy never lets sorrow Or misfortune bring you down I miss your gifts of discovery That are every day renewed How you keep expectation alive In everything you do For your grace it bears a virtue No tongue can tell my love There's no one here can hurt you For you're an angel from above I miss you, babe You're the only thing I crave Just as long as I'm on this round world Until I'm in my grave I miss you, babe Babe, thanks. It was a great song. I actually, so I was listening to the song last week as I was cooking my 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 dinner. I mean, I was actually listening to all the three albums uh, last week because Matthew sent sent this this CDs to me, and uh, uh, I had the chance to to listen to it. I really like them; they're really nice. Matthew, thank you very much for for having you in my show. Um. Dear listeners, Matthew has a website. It's MatthewRob.com. You can find his songs probably already on Spotify as well. I'm not sure. Yes, uh, I think the first two albums are there, and the, the next one will be there soon. So, so it's it's, it's all not all about finger picking. I mean, I must say that the the last album was, is our, the, the most advanced. In my opinion, um, um, where it goes already in, into a little bit experimental um, finger picking rhythm and blues and, and and rock, I really like it. You know, I really mm. like it. Really. So you can find him there. You 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 might find him soon as well on Instagram uh, at Mass Europe. Uh, you will find him as well if you go to the links in my my descriptions um i will set it up there too 
if you want to um, support this podcast channel, you can find myself as well on at Detschlich on, on, on Instagram, or you can find myself as well at Attitude on Instagram, or you find it uh, www.attitude.com. And there you can find a little bit merch caps or whatever. So you don't have to buy them. I mean, if you, if you share, if you share, um, the podcast or whatever, just on, on, on Instagram or Facebook, it's enough, you know, so it would be nice if not fair enough. Um, I wish you all the best, Matthew. And, Thank um, you. We will see us next Sunday at 10 o'clock um, in the third part, I would say. Great. Take, take Thanks. Care. Bye. Bye. You have listened to Artie Jude, West Cork's first art, fashion and design podcast. Attitude, never so close again. Ah! That was too close.